I was, funny. Funny. I was just talking about like training with Zay Polamalu. Yeah. Because uh, Talanoa has been training with Troy Polamalu, like no facility, nothing. Mm. And it's funny because I used to watch like Troy Polamalu workout videos when I was like in high school. Mm. And it's just his workouts are different. Like he don't touch a barbell. He don't do heavy weights. Really? Yeah, like Zay actually went out to train with Troy over quarantine last year while we were all in quarantine. Mm. And I was like, bro, like, how was it? Like, and he was just like, bro, the whole time I was with him, didn't touch a barbell once. And a lot of it starts with the mind. Like, what? So, yeah, so Troy Polamalu trained under Marv Marinovich. And this is the guy that made the NFL combine. And hmm. so he was like the, the okay. godfather of training. Yeah, yeah. Like, and so this is Troy Polamalu's dude that he only trained with that dude, Marv. Passed away, RIP. But uh, basically, it's just a lot of he. What the dude Marv said was the best movers uh, or the best weightlifters were not the best movers in the room. That is just, very freaking true. I agree. Yeah. That is so true. There's a lot of workout warriors. So instead of, like, pushing heavy weight, what they did was – I can't even speak to it really, but just what I've seen off the videos that are on YouTube – was they just moved they they worked on explosive movements so like it would be like like 10 pounds but you'd be like boom, 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 like just functional mm. movements getting your muscles to have that quick twitch in them because in the game you just hunt you everything is quick twitch i love that yeah i love that i yeah. think i quite honestly i would i would think that more pro- I would, that's programs why would i want to yeah you should that's do. what you want to do yeah i want i'm it's the easy I'm, thing. I'm for about to ask Zay if I could, you know, <laughs> you give me some Dude, tips. That'd be and really stuff. cool. But yeah. No, I feel yeah. like the easy thing for strength coaches though is like put, you know, five guys under a bar and like no, have yeah, them scout through fifteen. Sure. But I think I like that would be the best like workouts for for individuals. I would love to see that completely change and strength and conditioning to where like someone is like just goes away from the complete norm. And I, I think I've been around probably the this most straight guy coaches. who made the combine. Yeah, exactly. Now, like, like we've, we, I think we've gotten away. Maybe we've gotten away from, from that, but like, I don't know. We, we've been with Dobson. We've been with, I, I've been with Frazier. I was with coach Ruben with the chiefs. Like I, they, and they're kind of like the traditional. No, they're, they're actually not even the traditional. Okay. Like they're, they're no more about movement and, mm-hmm. you know, not actually like, doing one rep max and stuff mm-hmm. like that. Um, but I would love to see, like, the strength and conditioning like landscape mm-hmm. change to be a bit more, like, movement, flexibility. Like, I th- what do you, what do you- I'm curious as to how you want it to change because I think I think there's a happy medium. Like, I, I love lifting heavy weights. I feel like that's how I've gotten stronger. I don't see how else you would get stronger. But, in- but then I see the other end where a guy like Tom Brady, then again, he plays quarterback, so it might be different, but he says 90% of his training is all bands. And then he'll look at his teammates who are lifting heavy to you guys' point and say, that's why you're getting injured. And that's why a guy like myself who has been in the league for two decades, I've had one injury scare. That's what Troy Polamalu said, too. And that's what really made him train with that dude, Marv, was that he got to Pittsburgh and, I guess, like, started, but he ended up missing most of the season two years in a row. So he was like, I went from not missing a practice to basically missing two seasons in the league. Mm. So I needed to change. I needed to do something different. Mm-hmm. Started working out with that dude Marv, and I guess he was work. He has worked out with him a couple times in the past, but that's when he really like dedicated it to him and stuff. And never, I mean, Hall of Fame. Seriously, yeah. I, I would, I would, I would think that works. Seriously. Okay, know? but then in the trenches, you're just gonna be weak. You need your offensive and defensive. Bro, it's hard. I feel like it's hard. Like, have you ever done a, a hot yoga class? <laughs> like them, that shit is. I mean, sorry, that is hard. Like those women. Oh, don't get me wrong, yeah. bro. Like that strength that oh, bro. bro this one I'm pose hurt. where I'm just like, <laughs> I'm what, in, bro? I'm like, what in the world? Is it the one? You know what pose I'm talking about, <laughs> <laughs> bro? There's just this cow one. Pose. It's a cow pose. Is that what it is? I don't know which pose you're talking about. <laughs> you probably would know. Hey, I fuck with yoga. <laughs> Little freaky dude. Definitely, fuck with yoga. <laughs> Definitely no yoga. Super freaky dude. I was about man. to say, is you think yoga, hot yoga is harder? Any yoga is hard. It's Pilates, bro. Yoga, Pilates, yoga on but those machine. movements are hard. Like I've those been one. machines. So what is like? Yeah, I don't man, know. I see like Pilates, different machines honestly. with the Pilates. Like. Next call a reformer. But high school athletes take notes. Like the the move, like understanding your body and movements. Like, that. can you please bring up the yoga poses? I'm sorry, I have to. I have to see this, <laughs> bro. Have but you there's look me to the studio or no. To the yoga studio? Yeah. I used no. to go all the time in Nashville. No, we're going to slight flex. Are you, is you, are you pretty? No, I can't remember. I've gone with a lot of people. 
I don't remember if I went with no, you. No, it's like flex. Dude, I'm, how is that a flex <laughs> at all? <laughs> That's a legitimate question. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I don't think we've gone together. Okay. But, like, okay, bro, it's like these, po- like, if you can, I feel like athletes like us, are, we can't, like, like that. Yeah. Bro, crazy stuff. if you can do that, you can run a 4-4. Four, four. Or this <laughs> one, this I one. I promise you. If you can do that, you're never tearing your hamstrings. Like, exactly. <laughs> like, we can't do stuff like that. Well, the crazy part is we lift all day and night, and then I go into a studio with all these women, and they're they're out, uh, they're out doing me on they're all these stronger. positions. They are Strong. low-key stronger. They got that body control. Yeah. as a, And I feel like we're like, running back. That'd probably be the best thing. Yeah, it's uh, a lot of balance. For sure. Yeah. yeah. Might have to tap into that. Yeah. Might have to. That's interesting. Those are good. Those are good alternative training methods for sure. Like you said, there's a happy medium. There's a balance to everything. So, but for pro day, that's something you'd want to do instead of a training facility. I mean, if it's with Troy, that's what I would want to do. But yeah. I mean, I'm just talking about training for. Oh, just in general off season. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, because I trained at uh, Bomberitos down in South Florida over quarantine, and uh-huh. a lot of the Miami Dolphins and several uh, pro guys who live in the area. That's where they go. Yeah. And if I like when I look at the offensive defense alignment, they don't even back squat at all. Really? They don't they don't mm. really do any Olympic lifting. The only uh like the alternative to a heavy squat would be the shark. Mm. You know, the shark pit. Yeah. Oh, I like the shark tank. Yeah, because it's just safer, I like it, right? Yeah, so it's like it's shark safer. Tank. Definitely not shark, shark pit. Tank. Shark, shark pit. pit. Yeah. So basically once shark you get to that level shark. and you're yeah, established, sure. I think the emphasis shifts from you know hitting PRs towards like maintenance and staying healthy. So why, Cause like why there's, there's a priority with like staying healthy for 16 games versus I, I can only make it through eight or it should six. be like that in college. Why not? Huh? Yeah. Why not? Like, why don't you like treat them like a pro in college? You know, I, I don't know. I, I think it's good for freshmen, like coming in probably to, to hit the weight room. I needed it personally. Yeah. So I came in at probably, I was really skinny, man. 180 pounds. We did 225 tests my first week. I could only hit it three times. We just did one, a 225 test the other day. I hit it 19. And so oh, I feel like. That's like linebacker oh, level. That's <laughs> linebacker. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel better. And this is coming from someone who's been injured a ton in college football. I need to be able to take hits. I need to gain weight. I need muscle on me. Mm-hmm. It's made me faster, stronger, better, more power on my throws. And so, like, and, and I've gotten into the stretching part, too, which I understand what you guys are saying. I just, I would advocate for a combination of both. I feel that. Because if I didn't lift, I would still be that same scrawny 180-pound kid. And, like, you put me in a game, I would get blown up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I, I, I feel you on that. I I, def, I definitely do feel you on that point. <laughs> I feel Because I, I came in at, like, 155. <laughs> <laughs> like, this little skinny dude from, from California who, you know, I'll still run you over.